What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Magica, and if you are returning, what's popping, y'all? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, so as you know, October is around the corner, baby, okay? About a week or so away, um, we have entered spooky season we are in the fall season okay i'm not sure if it's the 21st today or the 22nd but i know the 22nd is the first day of fall so i wanted to go ahead and get ahead of myself to see what was going on in love for the month of october hmm. okay so I know y'all interested and I'm interested. So we might as well go ahead and see what's going on in the energy, shall we? All right, calling on my ancestors, spirit guides, angels and archangels, all from my highest good and highest light. Please provide me the most clearest, most accurate, most concise messages for my viewers when it comes to love in the month of October. So let's see what's going on, y'all. All right, Holy Spirit. Please let me know what's going on in the month of October when it comes to love. What's going on in love in the month of October? Now, I got a feeling that this is going to be accurate as fuck for a lot of y'all. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Alright, Holy Spirit. What's going on in the month of October? For my collective love life. What's going on in love for the month of October? Signs and synchronicities. Some of y'all can be seeing the number 222. Mm -hmm. So y'all yeah, can have the initials HM, whether that's your first, middle, last, nickname. Somebody can also have the initials BG. Signs and synchronicities. So you may be receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities about something. Um, you may be getting a lot of hints that something is coming in when it comes to love. Someone can be giving a lot of signs and synchronicities about you. Somebody's name can be Brian, Brenton. Brandon. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's going on in love for the month of October? What's going on in love? Fear. Afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. I feel like someone could be getting so many signs and synchronicities about you that is scaring them. Or this could be you. You getting signs and synchronicities about someone that just keeps pointing to them. And I feel like whatever signs you keep getting or confirmations you're getting are on point. They're, they're scaring you to the point that you just... You can't deny what's happening. You can't deny the signs. I'm hearing, I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. <laughs> Spiritual 
enlighten, epiphany, life blessings, rebirth. Yeah, somebody's going to be getting so many signs. It's, it's, somebody's going to see something so clearly. It, it's scaring them. They're just like, what the fuck? Okay. So I feel like somebody is getting signs to take a chance, take a, a risk towards you. Someone's being called to surrender their fears. Yeah, I feel like someone may have been trying to shy away from the signs that they be getting. But it's becoming a little bit way too hard to do so. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's coming up, love, for the month of October? could be telling their friends how uneasy that they're um how they feel about you how how uneasy their emotions for you make them feel to fall out in the so I'm going to put it in. I'm going to shuffle you. <clears throat> What's going on in love? Love month of October, please. What's going on in love for the month of October? Anxiety, crossing, interesting. I feel like this spiritual awakening, this enlightenment this person is going through is kind of messing with their anxiety a little bit. I feel like this is something that they're trying to get under control. going to follow their intuition or follow the signs that they've been given. Let's try. Exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It came right out. <laughs> They're going to follow their intuition. And they're going to take a chance. Even if they're scared. Someone is Balancing out that anxiety. Okay. 
What's going on in the world? I think that's over. Wedding. Marriage. Forever. The one. Union. So somebody could have had a fear around commitment at one point in time. So they could have kept it casual. But I feel like somebody wants to take a chance to make you theirs. They feel like they can trust you. Your loyalty is top tier. You support each other. You have fun with each other. Now data's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so let's, let's do this properly on here. I feel like it was a lot of back and forth be between this person because I'm seeing that scene um, with the Grinch when he was trying to figure out whether he was going to the Jubilee or not. And then, how, you know, how he was like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. And he was like, that's it. <laughs> I'm going. Da -da -da. And then he was like, oops, I have my fingers crossed. <laughs> But then Max pulls the string and he ends up going anyways. So I feel like there's a, a decision coming after not knowing what decision to make. Just being indecisive. 12-12 can be significant. The Grinch can be significant for someone. It can be somebody's favorite movie. It can be someone's favorite holiday. Something will be happening around Christmas time. Somebody can be born in December. Unexpected. So I feel like this is going to be surprising to you. What this person say may be surprising to you. The way things may go down between you and this person may be surprising to you. I also feel like this person didn't expect to get sent through a spiritual awakening through you. So I didn't expect any of this with you. <laughs> okay. So after a period of being gone... Reconciliation on the horizon. Okay. Our Holy Spirit, what else can we collective expect for the month of... There it is. Truth. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. Proposal at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Single. So you can be going from single to in a relationship... Or to this per person having some type of love offer after, you know, disguising it for so long. I feel like somebody's been wanting this since you guys um, disconnected. Okay. I 
feel like they're being guided towards you to tell the truth. What's to come in love for the month of October for my collection? What's to come? What's to come in the month of October for love? Text message, communication, phone call, direct message, news, unfinished business. So for the month of October, you can expect this person to come back. You can expect them to be reaching out to you. You still give this person butterflies. They've always had a... They've always... They never got over you is what I'm hearing. My, uh, if I was to pull out my deck right now, I feel like uh, Fantasia will come out. That Fantasia card. I feel like this person never got over you. They still held on to you. Still held on to you. <laughs> despite being gone but they weren't gone for a reason they went through a lot of changes a lot of growth closing out a lot of cycles so that things had to happen in divine timing before this union can even come over um come over wow um come through as we know there's a wrong thing of uh wrong timing right person so yeah some of y'all can be seeing crows some of y'all can be into astrology but this person wants to build generational wealth they want you part of their legacy all right to come in love for the collective for October 24. What's to come in love? I wish we could be together, but it's complicated and that's in reverse. Ooh. <laughs> Things are about to get less complicated. Our love is internal. So this person is about to make it known just how much you need to them. They're ready to communicate. Alright. Our past will reunite. I wish we could be together forever. Verse. Will you help me? miss you at the bottom but what's the point of it all hmm can you give me more on the you, you help me you know, oh this person wants to know do you want to do that too do you want to build with them too with this I wish we can be together forever in reverse and this will you help me coming out it's like is that something you're willing to help us um, achieve? Like, are you willing to start over with me? Mm, okay.
to step out of my comfort zone. I never felt like anything like this before. I never felt anything like this before. You are so beautiful to me. Memories of you are haunting me. So I feel like this person used to be self-centered, self-absorbed at one point in time. All about themselves, thinking what was best for themselves, not really necessarily being too considerate. But now I feel like this person wants to be considerate. At first they weren't really ready to come out of their comfort zone, but now it's just getting unbearable to the point where they like they can't stop thinking about you. They they can't get over you. Nothing anybody else that they dealt with outside of you, it just never it just it just never measured up. That's all I can get from that, okay? You have the most beautiful and purest heart. See, it's not even just about your looks or your physical or anything like that. It's everything about you, baby. Everything inside and out. Inside and out. So I feel like this person had a period of just, you know, um, trying to heal through whatever it is that they were healing, needed to heal through during the separation. They also went through a period of reflection. Um when it came to how they navigated through this connection, how they treated you, um, knowing that they should have treated you a lot better than they did. But I feel like somebody treated you due to their own insecurities. Um, yeah. They're ready to come in. All right, let me get another deck. All right, so what's the cut on this person in life for October 24? What's going on in love for the collective for October 24? <laughs> twin flames. So very magnetic connection, if not an actual twin flame connection. Very spiritual. Deeply connected. And that's why this person has never felt the way that they feel for you about anybody else before is because you're their twin flame, not someone else. This person has been watching you a lot through social media. And this is what's, well, you know, this what could be happening if they already are not watching you, but I think they are. And I just feel like it's going to follow into October. But I feel like somebody's going to watch you so much to the point where they're just like, fuck it. And come forward. Okay, tell me about what's to come in love for the month of October for the collective Holy Spirit. Too many. What's to come in love for the collective in October? Damn. Truth is, I'm in love with you. Told you it's gonna get too much. They don't have to speak their truth, and that's it. Yeah, I pretend like I don't care, but it's quite the opposite. My feelings for you are a little obsessive. Bottom of the deck, I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. So, 
October 2024. You can expect the person that's been hiding their feelings, pretending like they don't care, pretending like they don't feel the chemistry and like they're not so in love with you like they are. They will be coming forward to reveal all that to you, okay? I feel like somebody learned a hard-ass fucking lesson trying to pretend. Yep, mm-hmm. Because look, pretending got them nowhere. <laughs> pretending got them nowhere. They probably knew that you knew all along as well. And I feel like it's because just as much as they're seeing the signs and synchronicities, you're seeing the signs and synchronicities as well. All right, let's get the last part. Let's hear it. Damn, that is not the last one. That was too many. Last card holds here to close this out. Telepathic communication. So all that, all them signs you're getting is letting you know that this person is on their way. And what they're, is letting you know. Some of y'all may have been having, um, getting a lot of signs and synchronicities or you're, you know, some of y'all could be psychic or y'all get, your intuition be on point, okay? Some of y'all could possibly read cards too or whatever. But y'all are getting a lot of signs, whether it's your, through your dreams a lot of 5d communication or whatever the case may be but it is definitely a lot of signs here and the signs you are receiving is letting you know that this person is back okay they're back they're coming they're about to break um uh no contact okay and i feel like this person is ready to ask you on some type of date or something like that to explain to you exactly what's been going on behind the scenes all right. All right. Look, top of the deck. I dream about you constantly. So a lot of y'all are having dreams and shit about this, okay? You need to know. They are on their way. That's why you're getting all this telepathic communication. That's why you're seeing them a lot. Some of y'all can possibly be seeing their cars, if not their name, or songs that you guys um, shared with each other. Or maybe you have a specific angel number that you assign to this person that lets you know when they're in your energy or whatever the case may be for you. But you're getting a lots of signs of this person. You need to know that the signs that you are receiving is letting you know that this person is coming in to tell their truth. They're coming in to have that talk with you. So, collective. Your dreams, those signs... They're not, you're not crazy, okay? Because I know you're suspicious of it. You're like, what the fuck is, all, like, what, why do I keep, this is insane. I can't go, I can't even turn my head or go to sleep or I can't even do this without being reminded of this person or hearing from this person or whatever the case may be and y'all not even really in contact like that. That's because they're giving you a strong indicator that they're on their way. And they've made it through this. <laughs> okay, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. If this message resonated for you in any type of way, collective, you know to like, comment, and subscribe if you already have it. Share this, share this message with someone you feel may need to hear it. And continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers. Because once I get there, I will be giving away two free readings. All right, my loves. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.